Hi there. This is a quick update for House of the Dragon. That the head of HBO gave an interview with Deadline yesterday talking about the HBO release schedule for the coming year, and he, he explained why haven't we announced a premiere date before, and you know why haven't we gotten the full trailer? Well, the full trailer is tied to the release date so many months out from it to build up interest in it. That he explained what I had actually assumed and I've said in earlier videos, which is you know, the simplest answer is the most probable. Due to COVID delays, they weren't sure when exactly it might come out. And there are real financial repercussions if you announce a date and then have to delay it and reshuffle your schedule. That internally, they officially weren't sure when the release was because it's not that there was a massive COVID delay, but there could have been. The fear of we might have a massive COVID outbreak among most of the cast, you never know. That they said until production, uh, until the filming cycle was over, until we officially wrap filming on the last episode that we're doing, and they don't film in chronological order, it's harder to gauge when it's when it's episodes you're filming versus post-production VFX is remote enough and internal enough that that wouldn't be as affected by COVID, the editing process. Related update, which I was already working on before he made this announcement, is that multiple other cast members have also posted things on Instagram, cast and crew, saying it's a wrap. Like Gita Patel and her cinematographer both said, we are done filming this week, and this has been happening like for the past two weeks because there's different filming units for different episodes. Like, director Claire Kilner finished two weeks ago, but the episode that Gita Patel is, is filming finished uh, yeah, two days ago. So we knew, that, and they film out of order. You know, they don't, it's not like, oh, episode 10 is done. Episode 10 was done a while ago. It's like episode eight was the last one that they were filming because it was mostly interior scenes. So all these other cast members said were done the makeup department said they're done. All The entire photo unit took a group photo on Instagram that we were pretty sure they were done. And then, to cap it off, this is the head of HBO, did a deadline interview, and he, as part of a bigger HBO thing, he officially announced, yes, all filming is done on House of the Dragon. The filming cycle is over. And... I don't blame him for COVID. It's a historical pandemic beyond their control. It, yes, don't, it would be a massive problem if you announce a premiere date and then have to reshuffle due to COVID delays. They simply couldn't know. It's too much of a variable because there's potential COVID shutdowns for active filming because so many people are involved. Versus VFX and post-production editing and stuff, it's remote work on computers. That's more predictable. We can expect a premiere date announcement soon. And he, he didn't give a definitive answer, but he said, sooner rather than later, now that filming is over, I can get a clearer idea of when we're going to put this out. Okay? That's reasonable. I, I understand that they, you know, there's COVID going on. I wonder if I'm making this Thursday, the 17th of February. Originally, they were going to have a a big HBO official Game of Thrones convention in Las Vegas this coming weekend, which they shut down due to COVID. And they were apparently planning this as a big launch event, not just for Game of Thrones, but for the spinoff. We all assumed they might have put out a hoped to put out a trailer at this. Then again, maybe not. Because the other thing is they need to get all the VFX work done for the trailer. If you're going to put out a full trailer, it'll have like finished Dragon VFX in it. And I don't need another full trailer, as I said. I want a second teaser trailer revealing other cast members. Like, we know who's playing Aegon II. We know who's playing Bela and Reyna. It would be nice if they just announced it and owned up to it with a few still shot, you know, basically still shot uh, character promo photos. But instead of a photo, it's just like a teaser of just them standing there in full costume. We would love that. And I hope we get a teaser this weekend. I'm not sure, but... Things are going to move faster now. We're out of our rut. We're, we're really out of our rut from Omicron. 
and easing, beginning to leave the rut from Omicron, that things were slowing down. I actually think that they always said they were filming through late January, but this is two weeks after January that they're filming. I think that the Omicron, they never spelled this out, I think the Omicron variant slowed them down. That they had to take more precautions, test everyone before they started anything, do quarantines. It stands to reason that the huge winter Omicron spike probably slowed them down while not outright stopping them. But they ended, uh, like, Monday or Tuesday of this week, they finally, so basically Valentine's Day, the production, the filming cycle of production ended. And we're moving forward, we'll start seeing other stuff. That is big news, that was a good explanation, just, guys, there was COVID, we didn't know when it would air. Other big points, he also said, they asked, is there anything going on with the other spinoffs? And he gave a glass half-full answer, he said, we haven't cancelled any of the other three pitches. And some of these are, you know, nascent ideas that we're discussing, should we make cartoons or not? He said, that's embryonic, we don't really know how far along that's going to go, but the live-action pitches, those are commissioned pitches. Uh, young Corliss, uh, Duncan Egg hired a writer, I reported on that, and the, the Nymeria and 10,000 Ships thing, that actually advanced from pitch phase to they ordered a pilot script. Now I have to see if they like the script enough to order filming on a pilot, but he said there, there's no news, no news is good news, that we haven't advanced on anything I can talk about, but I can say we haven't canceled anything with the other spin-offs, but guys, we're focusing on House of the Dragon now, so fair enough. That's what's going on with that. Other things with HBO that surprised me because of all the COVID delays, and this is other news sites been talking about this, their big adaptation of The Last of Us, the, the video game The Last of Us, starring Game of Thrones <laughs> stars Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, uh, that has been pushed back to next year. It was going to be a fall 22 release, and it's pushed back to spring of 2023. Possibly later, I don't know. And that's going to be huge. I mean, I knew it was a popular video game. I didn't realize just that when you saw the list of the top 10 most anticipated shows of this year based on IMDb searches, you know, the one where House of the Dragon was number one and we were all really surprised at it because no one thought, people thought this, this franchise was dead, that, yeah, The Last of Us was on the top 10 along with a few other fantasy shows and a bunch of superhero shows that, no, this is going to be huge. I didn't realize how big it is. Even, like, Halo, the TV show, isn't as anticipated as The Last of Us. And that's coming out in a month. But The Last of Us has been delayed to spring of next year, and I understand it is a huge production, which is difficult to do during COVID. And I want people to take the time to get a show right instead of rushing it, because I have a lot of shows I could watch in the meantime. So I'm not like, oh god, it's got it's now all of their hopes for this year are on House of the Dragon. Now, the other thing is when can we expect a premiere date? Other news came out related to that, that if they finished filming right now, mid-February, and they had originally hoped to be done two weeks ago by late January, there is increasingly no chance that this is going to be a spring release. And as if you've been keeping up with my previous update videos, please chime in in the comments. I, I mean it. If you, Yes, I've been saying it is increasingly unlikely we're looking at an April or spring release. Yeah, because we don't know how much VFX work they already got done if they were doing it in parallel, but it takes like four months to get that much editing and CGI done, and they might get it done a little quicker, but even then, you need to do promos for it that... They can't be premiering in only two months if they haven't even had out a full trailer yet. And even if they put out a trailer this weekend, they would have to start a really aggressive marketing blitz really fast, really heavy on a daily basis. Like every day barraging us with promos for two months to make up for lost time. Because normally this type of huge launch it takes many months to, to build up. I mean, Lord of the Rings just put out a teaser seven months out from when they're going to actually air. So, And you, there'll be progressively more stuff that we're not looking at an April release. As I said in my other videos, the Emmy cutoff date is at the end of May. That At least half of your season 
needs to be aired before like May 31st to be eligible for this year's Emmy Awards. So if you're a four-episode show, or well, that's a limited run miniseries, you have to have two episodes that are before that, but this is a 10 ep if, if you have a 20 episode show, not that anyone really does that except cartoons anymore, 10 episodes have to air before May 31st. Because this is a 10 episode show, the way the calendar works out, the last possible date that ep they can have episode 5 ahead of May 31st, they, need, they would need to have the premiere on Sunday, May 1st in order to be eligible for this year's Emmy Awards. And they're just looking at the, the filming schedule, there was increasingly no chance of that. Just There were not stoppages, but delays due to COVID and the Omicron surge. I, I'm in America, we've had slowdowns. I've heard the lockdowns were worse in, in Britain and possibly Spain. Please tell me about that. But then again, that's just for everyday life, not a major production. The point of all this is there was a news update, this is not just speculation, but news, that the um, the Emmy Tracker website, Gold Derby, puts out a list of everything they think is eligible for Emmys in the coming fall, that by the September Emmy Awards. They put it out this week, and House of the Dragon wasn't on the list. Now, it's possible that they're uninformed and there's going to be a last-minute update but no, that lines up, that the fact that, and I think Old Derby checks with the industry, that unless there is a massive update, the fact that even GoldDerby.com is saying this is not going to be eligible for this year's Emmy Awards, it's not airing by May 1st. And as I said in the other video, if they miss the Emmy cutoff date, it isn't worth running a show in late May to early June because that would overlap with NBA basketball finals. Therefore, they would earliest premiere it on June 26th, the week after basketball ends. And as chance would have it, if you look at a calendar, if they start the first episode of 10 on June 26th, the 10th and final episode would air the weekend before the big Lord of the Rings prequel premiere on September 2nd. So there's this one narrow window where they can avoid overlapping with basketball or Lord of the Rings. So, And it's possible they'd be delayed. It's possible they'd be delayed due to VFX work. They at least don't want to premiere against Lord of the Rings. It's possible they'll premiere in early July, for all I know. That is possible. You can't rule that out. And the finale would overlap with Lord of the Rings and be regrettable, but it's like, how fast can we get VFX done because we were delayed due to COVID? But I think they're shooting for a June 26th release. They wouldn't, I can at least say they wouldn't go earlier than June 26th. If they're missing the May 1st deadline, they will do June 26th at the earliest. The head of HBO just admitted this is why we were delayed, you know, COVID stuff. We couldn't even announce a premiere date. At least now, the good news now is they can pretty much, and you can reliably guess, well, this is how long it'll take to do all the VFX and all the editing. That's relatively easy to give a time frame for. So in the coming week, we will probably at least get a premiere date announcement, and they'd probably announce it with a new teaser, if you think about it. Just literally just a handful of shots of, like, Aegon II standing somewhere, announcing these new cast members, and at the end of it saying, premieres June 26th. That's what I think we're looking at now, and we're going to get out of our Omicron rut and start living for the day. You know, that we, we I, I, over the Christmas break, I just, there wasn't any news. I fell off of my schedule. I, I just fell into what, you know, what are we doing here? And I, I should have been making up for lost time because I'm behind schedule and all my stuff. But okay, this is, we're getting a second chance. Like in Spider-Man, I just saw Spider-Man 3 last night, because I couldn't because of Omicron at the time, and they said everyone needs a second chance. This is our second chance to get New Year's right. You know, that New Year's was going to be the schedule updates looking ahead to the new year. Schedule updates for the new year round two will be coming from me in the next week, and I'll be going over HBO Max expansion, which is happening first week of March, all that good stuff. Please stick around for this.